What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about Microsoft To Do, and we're going to look at the list, all to do lists. So I've previously spoken about uh, Microsoft To Do, uh, I've got some videos covering a couple of the other actions. Microsoft To Do is a fantastic free tool by Microsoft that allows you to create handy to do lists. You can do things like adding them to separate lists, you can set due dates, set reminder dates, set, um, you know, you know all, all sorts of different content you can add attachments all sorts of great stuff to these to-do items so today's video we're going to look at um, listing all the lists now let's take a look at microsoft to do first so that we understand what we're talking about so switch over to microsoft to do here this is microsoft to do this is the web browser version there is also a desktop application as well as a mobile application as well as you can see from the icons down here and this allows you to um, create your, your to-do items. So on the left-hand side, there is uh, this, this concept of lists. So I've got a list here that says this, uh, this is a list, um, but the, there's also this, which is a task list. So Microsoft To Do is all about tasks. So when you create a task in Outlook, when you create a task in D365 or CDS, when you create a task in Planner, all these things get synchronized across to Microsoft To Do. So you can view all your information uh, from various things like anywhere, like in the single place. So there's the idea of tasks, which is just all the things that are assigned to you. But you actually can create lists as well. So this is just a test list, so it's called this is a list. Um, but you could break this down into other things. So what I use this for is I work on multiple projects, usually overlapping. So what I will do is I will create a list for each individual project with key things that I need to do on that project. So I could have, you know, kick off project, call the customer, um, arrange documentation, arrange doc, uh, you know, demos and things like that. And then if I have a separate list for another customer where I have those same things, except what I'm actually doing is I need to do it like per customer. So I can create a new list here. Uh, we'll call it a power automate uh, list. And I can hit enter, and then we create a new list. So at the moment, I've got three lists. I've got tasks, which is all my things, which is it just classed as a list. I've got this as a list, and I've got this power automate list as well. Let's switch back to power automate, and we'll show you how this action works. So I'm in power automate here. I've got my manual trigger flow, and I'm going to click on new step. In this new step, I am going to type into the search bar to do. And we can see this connector here saying Microsoft To Do Business. So what the action at the bottom is list all to do lists. So if we click on that, that's all we need. So we say it says here no additional information is required for this step. You'll be able to use the output in subsequent steps. So the the thing to kind of understand about this is that it's triggering in the context of the user that's you know it's running in the context of the user that's triggering it, meaning that I'm triggering it. So it's going to look at my to-do list. It's not going to look at someone else's to-do list. It's only going to look at mine. So if I click on test uh, and we'll say I'll perform the trigger action and hit save and test. We will wait for that to load and then we can click run flow at the bottom. Click on done. You see the flow run successfully. So if I expand this, we get this output. So the output down here uh, is a JSON object of how it looks. So um, each list has an ID, it has a change key, it has a name. So I mentioned before that task is a list as well. So tasks is default folder, true, uh, parent group key as well. And underneath next, we've got uh, another ID, got another change key. We've got a name, which is the Power Automate list. That's the new one I've just created. Is default folder is false. It's because it's not the, the default task list folder. Uh, it's, a, it's a custom one. And then if we scroll down further, we can see that this is a list. And again, we have that same information. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to find all the lists that you have in your in your to do um, in your to do lists. So that way you could export this information and say, right, okay, these are the these are the things that I've got uh, lists for at the moment. So I said I use this for projects. And once I've complete, once I've finished a project, I'll delete the list um, because I don't need it anymore. Uh, it was only used for that project, so I can actually use this to get a handy list of like my projects that I'm currently working on in case um, someone needs a report or something else like that. So I can use that to get this this out. 
Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that the, there are some, like the get a to-do list item, um, the, I think that's a precursor to some more actions coming out for Microsoft to do. Um, you know, not all these things um, you know, have, have great uses at the moment, but I'm always looking for new uses for them. Now, because I love Microsoft to do and I love Power Automate, I've actually submitted a, um, a request of new actions and new triggers that can be used uh, in Power Automate for Microsoft to do. So I've put that on the um, ideas.microsoft.com um, page, and I will share a link in the description down below on that. Um, take a look at it if you use Power Automate, if you use to do, um, see if you agree with me. If you do, if you could upvote it, that'd be great. Um, you know, I'd comment on if I've missed something as well, because I've updated the list a couple of times with some new features that I've thought about. So um, I'll drop that link in the description below. If you can check it out, it's fantastic. If you upvote it, even better. So let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below. If you did like, and, um, like this video, please like and please share it. It would be appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.